Hey folks, Rob Fenwick here at the Boat Warehouse in Kingston. And uh, it's a chilly December day, but then it is December, so what do you expect? And uh, we're gonna have a little conversation with Dave Jackson about the advantages of buying a boat pre-season. And I'll tell you, especially with this tariff stuff going on, there's a lot of advantages. So let's go find Dave and uh, check it all out. Woo! Had a jog, folks. Keep myself warm. It's a, it's a bit brisk out here, Dave. How you doing, Rob? I'm doing fantastic. Good hey, to see man. you again, as always, pal. Cheers. How are you? Oh, good. Good. So, we're here in the yard of the boat warehouse. Yeah, we're at the uh, Bath Road location. Yes, and sir. We keep quite a bit of inventory here, especially at this time of year. We've cleaned up. We're ready to plow snow. But we've brought over a good amount of inventory from the other yard. And, uh, yeah, I'm just actually going around checking uh, production date. Oh yeah. Dates that the boats landed because we've, uh, of course, everybody knows about tariff and some oh. that don't. Uh, easy explanation is, if a boat got here before uh, midnight, June 30th, we're good. Anything after that, the dealer has to pay 10% mm -hmm. on the landed cost of the boat. I heard about so, this. So uh, it's a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a tricky year. Um, so I'm just going around checking. Uh, production date versus when the boat came in to uh to figure out how many boats we have tariff free and i'll tell you one thing that the boss did here was uh we knew this was coming and uh, we were in a good position to order as much and as many as we could before that deadline uh and land them here um you got to have a pretty big pocketbook to do that and uh uh I know you guys stepped it up a notch. We, yeah, we stepped it up. But the key to the success of the show, the show season coming up is mm -hmm. is price point. And because we have many 2018s and 2019s that have come in before the tariff, we are going to be in a, a, a great position. Well, I, I remember hearing through the grapevine that you'd contacted basically all your reps and just said, what do you got? Let's just get them ordered. And I see the big T on the side here. Yeah, yeah. There, that's, there. that's a T. The, uh. the, the T is the, uh, the a, a dirty word. Uh, <laughs> so here's a good example, Rob. Two identical boats. We order these cookie cutter. It, they all have the same options. This happens to be, I think, a low 1610 fish ski. So two boats side by side. Bang zoom. Production day could be a week difference. If, 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 if this boat came in two days before the, the deadline and that one did not, then what's the difference in these two boats? The difference in these two boats is about anywhere from three to four thousand dollars. Wow. So for a consumer, it's crucial that they start to think about and possibly purchase well before even the show season starts in January because yeah. what's gonna happen is these are going to get picked off. Yep. They will get sold first. Yep. People will step up. Sure they will. And they're going to get the deal. I mean, I personally wouldn't pay three grand for that bit of Sharpie. But some, <laughs> that, and that's the thing is that, like you're saying, uh, it, I know folks, this time of the year, it's chilly, it's cold. You know, maybe you're blowing snow, shoveling snow shortly. Boats are kind of a distance from your mind, but this is, this is not a normal year. No. You need to be thinking ahead. The, the the early bird gets the worm in this particular case in a big big way no, no. and like you say i mean you've got the inventory i know a lot of your competitive dealers out there are holding off you guys went the other way we had to yeah we you gotta to. step up get them here you got a place to put them you know you're going to sell them people are going to want them why would you not yeah. grab them so i mean there's quite a few here I'll, folks i'm going to stand up here and just give you a pan over oh, oh, help me dave give me a boost <laughs> well, the sardine in the end is pretty good, but yeah, as you wow. can see, uh, this is all factory shrink wrap, folks. So these boats are sealed and dry. You can buy these boats now, and we will freshly unwrap and PDI and lake test this boat in the spring with you when you come to pick it up. And for less. Yes. That's the best part. I mean, there's a whole bro of pontoons just a pile of them there and we're just at the store on bath road you got the whole warehouse up the road yeah well the part of the reason we had to bring a lot of boats here is oh. there will not be room for the transports to unload at the other store because <laughs> there's no space left we, that's exactly fantastic yeah. so 
Do you have to go up there shortly? Yeah, actually, I have to. Uh, I've got to cancel. Oh, there's the train. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I've got to count a few of these and then uh, I got to go look for a couple at the other yard. But uh, hey, if you're welcome to stop over there, I'd like to show you some more boats. I'd love to see that. All right. Right on. See I'll you see soon. You there. Okay, so I'm here at the boat warehouse uh, storage facility in Westbrook. There's a whole row of scarabs. There's a bunch of cruisers back there. There's stuff inside the coverall buildings. There's stuff in the garage. There's boats everywhere. The truck is here. So I know that Mr. Dave Jackson is hiding here somewhere and uh, he's not in the truck. Are you hiding in the truck, Dave? You're not in there. Alrighty. Marco! Marco, where are you? Oh, I see a glove in the air. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Westbrook. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Here, I'm kind of chunky. I've had my fair share of cheeseburgers. Oh. oh, get the butter out. Squeeze me through here. Oh, there we are. We're through now. There's how many boats are sitting here? You count them. I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't, I'm not, it is inventory time, but I'm not counting every boat. <laughs> uh, Man. Yeah. The, We're standing in amongst fiberglass here. Glastron, four winds, scarab jet boats, maybe a couple well craft in here. There's high notes. Again, How, factory shrink wrap on most. Yeah. Brand new boats, man. They're everywhere. Yep. I, I gotta yep. get up in here. Ah. Well, we talked about stepping up and buying boats. Uh, we uh, we basically bought everything that we felt wasn't ugly. Oh, that's a good choice. So, uh, no, we bought all, a lot of stock boats, a lot of boats that we normally carry, some with more options than we normally bring in and less, but the feeling was, even if a boat has more options, it's more money, but we landed it before tariff, obviously someone's gonna get a hell of a deal. So that's right, that's, that's right. That's why we did it. Um, yeah, multiples of many. Towers, no towers, outboards, inboard outboards, yep. jet boats. Yeah, tailgate models. Everything. I love them. The tailgate boat, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we love that boat. We're gonna go over that one sometime here. But this is, there's a, I just can't believe how much stuff you got here. And, and I'm, is it true to, I was talking to somebody in the shop there earlier. Uh, you still got truckloads coming sometimes two and three at a time. Yeah, the, this is the uh, this is where the uh, staging area we call it. This is where all the transports come. And, um, you know, this is what second week, first week of December, Rob. Yeah. Um, if you pan out here by spring, um, there'll be paths to drive through to these buildings, and that's it. <laughs> It, it is a sea of white plastic here, and uh, wow. it's, again, it's all it's all new boats. There's there are some customer boats here, likely the ones in the blue wrap. But oh yes, yep. But everything else is yours. New, 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 new yep. everywhere, everywhere. And you've even got stuff inside. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a little disappointed. I thought this year. We weren't going to have so many boats that the boss would let us put an ice pad in there and have a hockey rink inside, <laughs> but uh, not going to happen. Bro. Not going to happen this not year. Happen. In fact, I, you know, if you don't mind, I'll tell you in a second. I'll show you yeah. inside one of the buildings where we've got boats on display. So yeah, uh, some people may want to come down in the winter and uh, get in one. Yeah, that's great. We'll wander down there now. So we're inside one of the buildings now. Yeah, yeah, this is one of the main coverall buildings. Uh, we had, we dedicated this one to uh, indoor display. Nice. People want to see some boats uh, in the winter. A lot of these are non-currents. They were at the lot on display. These are good deal boats, Rob. In fact, wow. uh, you know, we're going to have to pull two or three out because just in the last eight days, we've sold three of the boats that are in here. Fantastic. People came to see them. They realize the deal. Yeah, the they're, deal, the deal, the deal. They're getting the word. Yeah. So the, uh, the yeah. few big boys backed up against the dock here. Most of the big stuff we leave wrapped outside. It takes up too much space. But uh, sure. Hey. Yeah. They're the ghost. The ghost. Yeah. The ghost. We've yeah, been through the ghost. Through Halloween this year. So <laughs> yeah, actually, there's a there's a good example. Probably got four four to six of these available. Even a little boat like this, someone's gonna pay three to four grand more for this boat just in because. 2019. Just and because. Same warranty, they won't get any more boat. They're just gonna pay more money. Yeah. So I'm just we can't emphasize enough that Rob, last year we got to the Toronto show. Um lots of inventory. It's an eight-day show. Midway through the show, I had to phone my people that I was gonna see in Ottawa 
a month later, I had to actually phone some of these clients and say, the boat that you want that I had five of, I now have two of, one mm -hmm, of. Mm -hmm. So either buy or get, get in your car, drive to Toronto, come see the boat, buy the boat, because uh, as the spring progresses, yep. There's just not going to be anything left. That's right. Yep. And and nor like you say, I mean, you want everybody coming to the show. You want them if they're not sure, whatever, so be it. But you want to make sure people are aware. That's yep. communication is key. That's right. That's right. Yep. Well, this is just one, folks, of the buildings here with boats. The other one is the other side. It's got uh, cruisers, I think. It looks like. Uh, there. Yeah, there's some big stuff in the other building, and uh, some of that is customers' boats who do actually pay to put the boats indoors. Right. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. There's a lot. Of, some of the stuff's used inventory. Uh, oh yeah, there's the Yamaha yeah. there. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's the thing. I mean, it's not just new. You've got some use, but I know that the main thing right now is, folks. The tariffs don't apply to the new stuff, so the new stuff is where it's at right now when it comes to getting the deals. Well, thanks, Dave. Robbie, appreciate thanks it as for always. Coming in.